EA Sports and the International Federation of PGA Tours are proud to present a World Golf Championship. Today from Chambers Bay in Washington, live second round coverage of the EA Sports Championship. Well, if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. Scott Stallings is on top. He's at six under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer needing to get it in gear. Currently seven shots off the lead. Yeah, that's a beauty there to get this second round underway. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Now the approach here at hole number one, and Frank, what are we looking at? Well, semi-blind, um, but it's fine. You know, just a, a little peek, and you can see what's in front of you. Really no bunkers down the left side. Um, if you do miss down there, a little chip back up the hill, but it's a big enough green. Now, from just under 170 out, this is second. I think I'll be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. A birdie putt at one. We check in with Nota Begay. And this doesn't look too complicated at all. I don't think he needs to give away the hole. This is pretty straight on. Ah, the pace. Absolutely perfect there. Down the slope. It's in for a birdie. And he's able to get it back to one over. Safely in. It's a par here at the first, and he'll stay at one over. Now to the second hole here at Chambers Bay, and Frank, it is not overly long. Where's the trouble here? Well, 281 yards really to the, uh, the big long bunker that goes all the way to the green. So as long as you can avoid that, um, you don't have to hit driver down here, just something that's going to be a little short of that. You're still only going to have 100 yards, really, or just over 100 yards in for your second shot. A really good chance, too, to get off to a good start. Going to work this up that left-hand side. And he knows here on a short par four, better to be left with a full iron than something in between. So uh, smart decision to go with the three wood there.
So from the rough, here's his second at two. Well, not super close, but uh, safely on the green. Second shot forthcoming from the left side of this fairway. That's a good shot, and more importantly too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Just want to nestle this one down to within a couple of feet. Close, couldn't ask for much more on that putt. Ten foot putt left. Yeah, well done. It's a birdie here at the second. And he will definitely not say no to that. Ah, good putt there. It's in for par here at the second. And he'll remain right where he is. At the third tee now, Frank, and what are we staring at here? This green is anything other than symmetrical, so be very, very uh, cautious on where the flag is. Anything in the middle of the green you can putt to the corners. Uh, well, if you can call them corners, more like ragtails, but uh, beautiful par three. Okay, that's going to end up right in the middle of the green. Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this par three. Uh, just too tough to control out of the sand. That one unable to hold the green. It'll run off into the short stuff. Down to Iona. This for birdie. Yeah, a lot of right to left movement in this first two thirds of the way, and then it'll start to straighten out in the end. Whoa, slow down. Oh, that's not what you're hoping for in a birdie putt. That'll go all the way off the green. Frank, I think you have to appreciate that he kept his head down and, and kept his head in the game and he'll be able to get out of here with a bogey. Hey, I've been watching for a while, Rich, and I haven't seen touch that good for quite a while.
That one in for a bogey here at the third. And he'll drop back to one over par. He'll go ahead and finish that off. It's in for his bogey. And that's going to move him back to two over par. Frank, here on the fourth tee, you get a good look, don't you, at what Chambers Bay really is all about. It's framed beautifully, Rich, by the bunkers there, uh, left, short, off the tee, plus the ones down the right side. You can see everything in front of you, but the hole does bend to the right. Um, this is another one where you've got a generous fairway, but don't be fooled by that. It's fairway first. Tough par four, measuring 495 yards. And that's going to sacrifice some distance, obviously, but the seven wood there going to work out just fine playing for position. That's in the fairway. That's going to be up the left-hand side. No issues here. That is into the fairway. That's got to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. And an awkward little bunker shot. Just splash it out, let the ball run towards the flag. Yeah, look how quick that was. Very difficult to get that to stop, even out of the sand. And that race is right on by. Now this for birdie. Yeah, this is when he's got to get just right. It's a tough putt moving back to his right. Taking a confused second look at that one, that definitely had more left to right than he thought. This is a 16-footer. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And he'll remain at two over par. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. And that's going to drop him down the leaderboard just a bit. Well, Frank, here at the fifth, and I'm not sure about my chances at a hole that's called free fall. I mean, are you kidding? Well, it should be uh, free fall for you, that's for sure, and free fall for a lot of people playing it today. Hole looks straight away, but uh, you'll see it's, it starts to pinch in, that fairway, that is, by bunkers left and right, and those bunkers come in exactly where you're trying to hit your tee shot.
And that was flirting with disaster the whole way, and it's going to wind up hopping into the bunker. Not going to stop in time. It'll roll all the way into the bunker. Going to have to flight this a long way. His second out of the bunker. That's a really good shot out of the fairway bunker. A chance to make a birdie. Hoping just to get this on somehow. His second from the fairway bunker. Look here at birdie. Tough to see any break in this, maybe slightly to the right, putting back up the hill, so got to keep up the speed. Eleven feet away. That is painful. I mean, all you gotta do, just hit it, just hit it. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And he'll stay right where he is. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par, and he'll remain right where he is. Getting set to hit the tee shot here at the 6th at Chambers Bay. Frank, where are you looking to land the ball off the tee here? There's a nice dune down that left side that, uh, that sort of gives you a good line that you can work the ball off uh, here. But remember, this is a Lynx golf course, so you don't try and fight Mother Nature because she'll always win. So just anything down the left, let, it, let that ball sort of kick its way back towards the middle of the fairway. A lengthy par 4, though, at 495. That's up the left side. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Frank, what do you think about this approach here at the sixth? Well, one of the few greens here that's protected on both sides, rather narrow green, and you can see really what happens if you miss. Bunkers left and right, plus there's a couple of ridges, so club selection is important here. Well, not as close to the pin as you'd like, but when you find greens in regulation, on a regular basis, you're going to have a chance.
substantial movement on this putt right to left, and it's from distance. So this one not just about speed, but line as well. Yeah, that's good pace. Just a little offline, but not too bad from that far away. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Hmm, didn't trust the read there, and that's going to cost him. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And he'll stay right where he is. Okay, and it's a bogey here at number six. And he'll slide back now to three over par. Frank, this is a daunting challenge. The seventh hole, long par for it's over 500 yards. A huge bunker down the right side that uh, probably runs for a good two, three hundred yards. Obviously, that's to be avoided. And then, of course, there's the mounds and the hammocks and the dunes and that on the left side. That's the reason, really, why this hole's called humpback. Um, but then, a little bit like the golf course, there's only one green side bunker to be worried about, but enough green left of that. That one looking a little right. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. right in the fairway and 180 yards from here. Oh, that ball limps its way onto the green, but yeah, you never know. One part away. Frank, uphill shot. What did you like to do on a, a play like this? The biggest thing really is to try and work on your balance. You've got to make sure you get through the shot and normally take an extra club. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, Rich, you know, I've been in there, I've taken a good look at this one, and I'm not seeing a lot in it. Up the slope, not a great deal of break. Confident roll required. Oh my goodness, woefully short on that putt. Don't be sure. Just another couple of turns, Frank. Yeah. 
Yep, well done. That's in for par here at seven. And he'll remain right where he is. That one in. It is a bogey here at the seven. And that's going to move him back to four over. Now to the eighth and a long par five, Frank. Fortunately, there's no bunkers, just the dunes either side. The hole looks a little narrow off the tee, but get down there, you're going to realize that's a fairly generous fairway. There's a little bit of mounding in this green, um, too, that actually slopes it back towards the player. So that, use that to your advantage. This one starting up that left side. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Yeah, that's the spot you want to put it. Now, watch this thing gather momentum down the slope. Well, that is going to be an excellent result. Going to take a big poke to get there, but a chance with his second to the par five. Might have been okay if it stayed in that thinner rough, but I think this popped into that deeper area. And we'll have to see here, it looked like that ball hopped from the lighter rough into the heavier stuff. Problem starting to worsen now.
A nice shot and a good chance for a par. The statistics on the PJ Tour show that from eight feet, you make 50% of your parts. That's a miss hit, misjudgment, and maybe another missed putt coming up. Oh no, I thought that was in for sure. Just a little jag right at the end, gonna leave it on the lip. slides by to the right. Just never had that on target. That one finished off. It's a bogey here at number eight. And he'll fall back now to five over par. One polished off for bogey, and that won't help the cause one bit. Rounding out the front side here at Chambers Bay with a par three, the ninth. Well, the tee is nearly 100 feet above the level of the green, so you can see everything. This is one of the best views on the golf course. Uh, a fairly lengthy par three. You know, obviously it's stout, just over 200 yards, but you can see the green off that elevated tee, and this requires your best shot. That's gonna be on the putting surface, and a birdie look straight ahead. And I think he was a little wary of hitting the ball too far there, and he winds up leaving it short. Fourteen feet to the hole. Got it there, but not quite on target. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's in for par here at the ninth, and this will be a four over score of 39 on this front side. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And that's going to drop him down the leaderboard just a bit. Frank, what's the player looking at on the 10th here at Chambers Bay? Well, normally at a par four, you're just thinking blaze away, but this is one of the few holes, really, I think you've got to be careful on what club you hit off the tee. It starts to narrow up, 
Um, you really want to avoid, the, avoid those two short bunkers that come in around the 300 yard mark. And that really sets yourself up with a, a, a nice sort of wedge. That's really the right way to play. You don't have to take the trouble on in front here. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Frank, it appears as though this approach shot here at the tent is fairly straightforward. It is. You've got a flat green, so you're not really worrying about mounds or bounces here. And really, this is, uh, you know, with a short iron in hand, this is one of those ones you just uh, green light, you go straight at the flag here. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. The green is up above, and this will play at least a club longer. Yep, it finished on the green. <laughs> Less said the better. This would be a big bonus if it went in more than likely just trying to get this one close. Yep, not bad. Had to put a little extra into that one, but got it there. That's a pretty good effort. Now this, for birdie at 10. And this is a putt that's probably a little slower than most people realize. Slightly up an incline with a little bit of movement to the left. Mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. So that in for par to start this backside. And he's going to stay at plus five. Okay, that one in for a bogey here at 10. And that won't help the cause one bit. Well, here we are at the 11th. Frank, this is a brutally long par four. And uh, a little bit blind too. There's that big dune in the middle of the fairway and, and it's sort of a bit daunting. You're not quite sure what's behind that. Well, what behind what is behind that is actually fairway and uh, just carry it over there. That'll certainly shorten the hole up. And then from there, it's a little bit of a dog leg to the right. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole.
Well, too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap in is now going to be a grind. Ah, uh, yes, the touch. Excellent there from behind the green, and that one goes down for an unlikely birdie. Right about nine feet here to the hole. Okay, well done. It is a par here at 11, and he'll stay right where he is. The 12th here at Chambers Bay is known as the Narrows. What's the play here, Frank? Two, really. You could just sort of iron it down there, um, have a little wedge or a pitch in there with no sweat whatsoever. Or, if you want to have a little bit of fun, if you can drive it over that bunker that's just short left of this green, uh, you might just putt for an eagle. That will do just fine. So after nearly driving this par for his second from behind the green. So you see where this wound up? Just a short pitch for a second. The putter has not been at its best, but this a good look for birdie. So early on the backside here at the 12th hole, missed opportunity. Just five feet left. And this steps there. It is a par here at 12. And he'll remain right where he is.
That one safely in. Well, it's a par here at 12. And he'll stay right where he is. Now at the 13th hole here at Chambers Bay, and Frank, this one bends to the right, par four. It doesn't mean that you have to cut it or move the ball in that direction. Uh, ideally, really anything down the left side of the fairway would, uh, would be well suited for this hole. There is a central bunker that sort of protects the front middle of the screen. Um, you can go in left, left of that or right of that, uh, but this is a beefy par four, uh, four on the card, and you are not losing ground. Seven wood off the tee, got it up in the air. This is going to wind up just fine. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. That just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. Sizable putt from 16 feet. Mm, so good for pace, but boy, you really would have liked that one to go down. Okay, safely in for par here at 13, and he'll remain right where he is.
Okay, so that one finished off for double bogey. And that's going to drop him down the leaderboard just a bit. Frank, now to the 14th hole, and this is the fifth consecutive par four here at Chambers Bay. And by this point, the players will know whether they're on their game or off their game. At 546 yards, uh, this hole can be shortened considerably if you choose to take a brave line down the left side. You can chew off as much as 70 or 80 yards. But once again here, because the hole bends to the left, you've really got to know which direction that wind is coming from. That is dead center right down the middle here to start the hole. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Well, from any distance, that's pretty good, but from that far out, couldn't ask for much more. This for birdie now at 14. And these are the putts he hasn't been able to do much with all day. This doesn't have a whole lot of movement to it. And he could surely use it. That one just going to sneak on by. Eighteen feet from the bottom of the cup. Oh no, I think he was about ready to walk that in. That looked on target the whole way. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll stay right where he is. Safely in, it's a bogey here at 14, and that won't help the cause one bit. Frank, normally in a golf course, you don't want to spend too much time in the trees, with the trees, around the trees, but part of me wants to go up and, and hug this tree because he's all alone. It's the only tree on the whole golf course. Well, I know you're a tree hugger, Rich. I really do. But at 246 yards, when they play this off the back tee of the U.S. Open, believe me, nobody's hugging that tree. They're just trying to make three.
Okay, safely aboard. Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this path, right? And that ball kind of got away a bit coming out of the bunker and it is going to roll off onto the fringe. Six footer now for Birdie. Wow, just a hair off target. Those are the ones that'll drive you crazy. Ah, good stuff. So it is for a bogey four. And that's going to drop him back down to six over. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he'll remain at six over. Now to the three-hole finishing stretch here at Chambers Bay, and we get it started with a relatively short par four. It's a 423-yard hole, the 16th, Frank. Being slightly to the right, um, there's a huge bunker all the way down the right side that sort of starts, I don't know, maybe about 100 yards off the tee, goes all the way to the green. You go right, and then you realize why this hole is called beached. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. This one starting a little left off the tee. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. So, Iona, this is second from the fairway. 130 yards left to the flag. It's a nice round number. Pin on the left portion of this green, so it will favor a wee draw. And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. Ball appears to be sitting up here in the rough at the 16th hole. Decent lie, but you just won't be able to get it to spin. See what he can do now with this, his second shot. Outside look here for Birdie. Oh, maybe just a little bit of a turn, but that will somehow stay right on the edge. Oh, 
He had designs on making that. Couldn't quite get it to go, but that was well judged. Yeah, sometimes the speed can get away on you just a little bit, but really, got it just right. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16, and he'll remain right where he is. Okay, safely in for his paw. And he'll stay right where he is. Frank, you don't need just a caddy out here at Chambers Bay. Seems like you need a sports psychologist. You start thinking about the names of these holes. Beached at, at 16, and what's 17 called? Derailed, and, and you can see why, too. That green's perched up there. Um, if, you, if you've got the round going in the wrong direction, this is not a hole to start on. So um, if you've got a run going, just a, a good tee shot that lands around the front there, and uh, you just take a three here. This is not a time to be a hero. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. Well, that's out. That's the important part, but this is well short of where it needed to be. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. This will be a 14-foot putt here. Finished off for Bogey here at 17. And he'll slide a bit further here to seven over par. Okay, that's going to be finished off for his Bogey. And that's going to drop him down the leaderboard just a bit. Now to the 18th hole, Frank, everyone wants to finish in style. Yeah, the home hole here, you know, once again, you head back to just a, a wonderful view and you realize that Chambers Bay was designed as a walking golf course and uh, it was designed to have fun and test every department in your game. 18 will do that. It probably gives you more trouble on both sides of the hole than any other hole on the golf course. That, I do believe, is into the bunker. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway.
getting out more important than distance here as he readies his second. Okay, that's a good safe play. Get it back out into the fairway. Get some distance if you can and get set to try and make a good third on this par five. This looks to be at least an extra club, maybe two clubs going way up that hill to the green. knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet. Excellent shot. Third shot. Looking for a good one. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. No, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. A straightforward look here for Birdie. This is a nine footer. Seven feet now for Birdie. So a tap in there, that's for par at the last, and that will finish off our round of golf. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And that's gonna drop him all the way down to eight over par. So remember, no cut here in this event. Our featured golfer with work to do over the weekend, to try and claim this EA Sports Championship. There isn't a cut, but it is a very high quality field. So in the end, you're still gonna have to play your best golf this week. So that'll do it for my partner here in the tower, Frank Nabilo. For Nota Begay, Iona Steven, and all our crew, Rich Lerner saying, we'll see you next time on EA Sports PGA Tour.